Welcome to AzureTeach.net. This video has two sections. In the first section, we are going to develop a web API controller which will read records from this employee table into a data table and transforms that data table into a CSV file and returns the file. In the second section, we are going to develop an Angular screen which will have the download file button. On click of download file, it will download the file and we are going to return the file name also from the controller itself stay tuned to the video here i have created dotnet 5 web api project but the code that we are going to write would work in dotnet core 3 as well here i am adding a new controller and i am choosing api api controller empty clicking on add button and i am naming the controller as employee controller and here we have to write an action that will go to the database and retrieve all these records and transform them into a csv file and return the file so here i am writing the action public i action result i am naming the action as export and here i want to go with http get so here i am writing http get and i want to use the same name that is export as my action name so here i'm giving action here i'm writing using sql connection connection is equal to new sql connection and we have to install nuget package related to sql connection ideally we have to write the database related code inside the data layer but i want to keep this demo simple so that's the reason i am writing the database related code over here and here i'm writing connection dot open and after that we have to create a command sql command command is equal to new sql command and to this we have to pass the query so here i'm writing select star from dbo.employee and to this we have to pass the connection object and after that here i'm writing using sql data adapter adapter is equal to new sql data adapter and to this we have to pass the sql command and here i'm declaring data set i'm pressing control dot and we have to use this namespace ds is equal to new data set and here we can use the adapter object to fill the data set so here i'm writing adapter dot fill and passing the data set so this will retrieve the table information and fill the data set and now we have to transform this data table to csv so here i'm writing string csv data is equal to transform table to csv so to this i am passing ds dot tables of zero so inside this method we have to transform the data table to csv data so here i am generating a new method and here as we need to convert the data table into a csv file we are going to read each record of the table and append it to a string builder so here i am writing string builder pressing control dot and we have to use this namespace and here i am writing csv builder is equal to new string builder and in a csv file first we have to add the header of the csv so here i'm writing i enumerable of string column names is equal to data table dot columns dot cast and we are casting this to data column and after that we have to select the column names that we get so here i'm writing x dot column name and now we have to append these column names here we'll get the list of column names the column names are employee id name salary and email 
so as we have to append that with the comma so what we can do is csv builder dot append line and here we can use string dot join function and to this we have to pass the separator the separator is the comma and here we have to pass the param object value so we can give this column names list or the enumerable object and here after that we have to iterate over the data table and read each row so here i'm writing for each data row row in data table dot rows and inside this also we are going to do the similar thing here i am writing i enumerable of string fields is equal to row dot item array this item array will return the rows cells as an array and after that here we are writing select and the lambda expression and here we have to add certain logic here I have two CSV files and this is its content. So here we have name and salary as the headers. And if you see, we don't have any additional commas inside the data. But if you see here, here we have name that includes first name and last name with a comma. And after that we have salary. So the number of commas inside the header is not equal to number of commas inside the data let me open these files in excel so here we are opening csv that has additional commas as we have additional commas it moved the last name to the salary cell and this column doesn't have any header and now if i open this csv file this csv file would look fine in order to fix this issue we can enclose the data in double quotes like this and here also i'm doing the same after making this change and saving the file if i open the csv again it will look as expected we have to add the similar logic over here so here i'm writing string dot concat and we have to enclose the data in double quotes so here i'm writing a double quote and after that here we have to use x dot to string as we are adding the double quotes if the data is having the double quotes we have to escape that so we have to replace the double quotes with double double quotes now so here i'm writing the double quote and after that as we are going to replace the double quote which is inside the data we have to use the double double quotes and after that we have to write the closing double quotes so here again a double quote now this will return the fields data and we have to append that to our csv builder so csv builder dot append line and here we have to use the string dot join again and again here we are passing the comma and after that the fields and now from here we have to return csv builder dot to string now we have to convert this csv data which is a string into the byte array and use the file method of the web api to return the file result so here i'm writing where file bytes is equal to we have to use encoding class encoding dot utf8 dot get bytes you can use ascii encoding and any other encoding as well so here i'm passing the csv data this will convert the string into the bytes and after that from here we can return return file and this file method has some overloads we are going to use those overloads to return the file so here i am returning file bytes and after that here we have to pass the content type so the content type is text slash csv and after that we can pass a file name over here 
so here i am mentioning the file name as employee data dot csv one last thing that we have to do is we have to pass the connection string over here so i am going to the server explorer and i am right clicking on the data connection and here i am choosing add connection and here i am pasting the local sql server name and here i am choosing the database name that is demo db and here if we go to the advanced it will give us the connection string so i am selecting the connection string clicking on cancel and here i am pasting the connection string that's it that is what we have to do and now i am running the solution as this is a .NET 5 web api project it opened the swagger by default i'm clicking on get try it out and clicking on execute if our code is correct it will return 200 and also the file so here it returned the 200 success response and also the file here we have to note and as we are using this file method it is doing all the required things for us in returning the csv file here we have the content disposition as attachment and the file name that we have passed and also the encoding of the file and also the file name again so i'm clicking on this download link it downloaded the file i'm opening the file it has the data that we have exported from the database here i have created a brand new angular project and here is its output i am going to app component.html and here i am removing the default code i want to keep this demo simple so here i am making minimal changes button on click of this i want to download the file so i am writing download file method over here and here i am giving the text as download file and we have to write this method inside the component so i am going to the component and here i am writing public download file and it will return void and after that inside this method we have to call the service and the service should download the file so i am duplicating this terminal and here i am generating the service ng g service download file pressing on enter it generated the service and i am going into app module.ts and here inside the providers we have to add the provider so that is download file service as we are going to make http calls we have to import HTTP client module as well. So here I'm writing import HTTP client module and it is inside at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP and we have to import that. So here I'm writing HTTP client module. Now inside our download file service here we are injecting private http client http client our api is running here and we are going to call this get method to download the file so i am copying this url and here i am going to the visual studio code and here i am writing download file and here I'm using HTTP client dot get and here we have to pass the URL and the action that we are going to call is this action so I am copying this and here I'm pasting it and now we have to add the response type over here and also the observe so here I'm writing observe we have to observe the response why we are observing the response because we are going to get the file name from the api and we are going to use the same file name to download the file and here we have to write response type and we are going to read blob we have to make this method as public and also we have to write written statement over here app component dot es here we have to add the constructor and inside this i'm writing private download file service 
and here it is download file service open and close curly braces and here we have to use the download file service to download the file so download file it will return an observable so here i'm writing subscribe and here it will return the response and after that here we have to get the file name so let file name is equal to we can get the file name from the headers of the response so here if you go to the swagger we have content disposition header and inside this we have the file name so we can read this header and split it by the semicolon and in the first part again if we split this particular string by equal to we can get the file name so here i'm writing response dot headers dot get and inside this we have to pass the content disposition so here i'm copying this and pasting it over here and we have to split this by semicolon and in the first part we'll get the file name and after that we have to split it by equal to and in the first part we'll get the file name and now we have to read the response body as blob so here i'm writing let blob that's the content of the csv is equal to response dot body as blob and here we have to create a hyperlink on click of that we can download this blob content as a file so here i'm writing let a is equal to document dot create element and here we are creating the hyperlink and after that here a dot download is equal to file name and here we have to pass the href so a dot href is equal to window dot url dot create object and to this we have to pass the blob and after that we have to click the hyperlink that's it now if you go to the browser and open developer tools click on download file it will fail with the course issue because the api is running on a different port and the angular app is running on a different port we have to enable any origin on the web api so i'm going to the visual studio and stopping it here i'm insert startup.cs class and we have to enable the course over here app.use course builder builder dot allow any header dot allow any method dot allow any origin and we have to remember this with exposed headers and as we are reading the file name from the content disposition we have to use this with exposed headers method and we have to pass the content disposition over here and i'm running the solution now now if we go to the angular app and click on download file it will download the file let us open the file to see the content from our web api we are returning this data which is there inside sql server and the same is loaded inside the csv file that's all in this video if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you